Hello YouTubers, this is Anubifar and welcome to part 7 of my Road to Anniversary Sales series. 4 ships to watch below $400. These are the ships at this price point that stand out for being particularly strong either in combat or otherwise a solid performer. You don't need to buy these ships to enjoy the game, but if you choose to further support the development, these are those ships which are generally seen as great. In no particular order, let's begin. The C2 Hercules is the least expensive of the Starlifter variants. It lacks some of the protection and weapons of its bigger brothers, but it has it exactly where it counts. The 624 SU of cargo is really substantial, but unlike other large ships, its thruster configuration was said to make it relatively more nimble. Then you can add a low crew overhead, long range VTOL engines, and room for two tonks. You may think as a solo craft it offers very little, but as part of a larger fleet, I can see the C2 being the backbone carrying supplies and sustaining operations. The Carrick. The Carrick holds a rare honor of being one of the ships that went up in price since concept, without actually releasing the hangar or flight status. It's been nothing more than a picture since 2015, yet it still makes my list. Last year we saw it in engine. It now has sub-capital class gear, military protection, and equipment specialized to explore. This was one of the best concept ship sales ever. Fully detailed release documents, mini game, and all the lore to back it up. Huge cargo, a sub-bay hangar, a rover bay, medical and crew rooms, plus three belly-mounted modules. If the BMM is the best cargo ship, the Carrick is the best explorer. The Reclaimer is a menacing industrial machine. When it was released to flight, I had such a great time exploring its dingy interior that had so much character. This is the second tier salvage ship that should offer your org a means to fund your operations. If salvage is going to be done like mining, I think it'll offer the right balance between enjoyable gameplay. Not everyone will agree with me, but hear me out. The Genesis Starliner, according to its concept launch, is a bit of everything. There are modules for VIP mechanics, troop transport, and commercial passenger transport. It's only when you look at the interior concept art that you get a real sense of its scale. Its two-floor design means it can carry larger vehicles and or cargo. The reason I think it's strong is its intended versatility. And that's it. You should be happy with any of those suggestions, they're very well known through the community for being superior. Stay tuned for part 8, the VIP info hopefully on the Anvil Arrow, and two ships to watch under $750. Please remember to enter the contest that's going on right now, fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.